I for sure think getting ready motivates me and helps me like feel good and ready for the day. I think it's just really fun and I, I have so much fun doing my makeup. Hi guys, I'm Len and Stella and I'm here with Refinery29. I hope everybody is staying home and staying safe, especially in this time when we're all quarantined. It genuinely helps me when I like get kind of ready every day, partially, and just like attempt at making myself feel good and not like I'm stuck in my house and won't see the light of day. So it kind of helps. It helps my situation a little bit when I try to, you know, take care of my skin and put makeup on and do my hair and put a cute outfit on. It kind of helps me a little bit. For skincare first, I'm just gonna show you what I do every morning before I put my makeup on and then I'm gonna show you what I do with my makeup. This is my favorite facial cleanser. After that, I use these Neutrogena face wipes all over my face because sometimes I don't get all my makeup off from the night before and even with that cleanser, sometimes the makeup still comes off on this, so get all over with this. And I feel like there's just like this nice hydration that comes um, from these wipes. They just like really make your skin moisturize and alive. Social distancing. I have not left my house for like a month and a half now. The second it all kind of hit the fan, I was like, whew, I am home. I am so scared. I'm such a hypochondriac. I was like, I'm not leaving my house. But it's been it's been fine. It's it's just like promo time of the album and getting everything ready to be released. So have not left my house. Haven't seen a soul. After that, I use these Sunitas. And if I could say anything from this whole video for you to go take away from this and go buy, it would be the Sunita's wipes. It is the brightening peel pads at home peeling treatment. A makeup artist I was working with, he literally brought me these one day and was like, you're gonna die. Um, because my skin, I kept getting like these like, just lots of little rashes and lots of little like teeny little bumps on the sides of my cheeks. And this completely took them away. And not only did it take them away, it like made my skin just a whole different face. Whole different face of skin. It was, it's completely transformed my skin and made it so tight and so nice. And everybody needs to get these wipes. I talk about them all the time. This after, I'm gonna use this Skin Farm Use Serum. It's about like, that much. I am just so excited for this album to be out in the world. It's a weird time to be putting an album out for sure. But I also think you know, it's kind of, it's nice to be stripped down and everything's back to its roots and being home. After I do that, this Kiehl's moisturizer. It's amazing. I really love Kiehl's. I think they're just perfectly gentle. And I use about that much. And I just rub it all over. It feels so good. And especially right before you're about to put makeup on. This makes my skin feel like just really hydrated and alive. I take my Kiehl's eye cream. It's about that much. You're supposed to pat. I always will, but you're definitely supposed to pat. There's definitely days when I don't leave my pajamas, no question, for multiple days in a row, but I also think it's when you stay home for this long and it's now been like a month and a half to keep things like feeling fresh and feeling good. It's kind of like tacky. You can kind of see it's like pretty thick, but it feels really nice um, when you let it sink in for like five minutes. I really enjoy getting creative and, and exploring some stylistic things for sure. Take this rose water, which I really like this brand. It feels really nice and it feels really good. Love it, love it. For my eyebrows, I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Tinted Brow Gel because I like my eyebrows to look a little bit lighter with my blonde hair. When I first put this on, just know that it's going to make them look like they go away. But I use a different product over top to make it look a little less blonde. And then I take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is just medium brown. And then I take the other side and I just go in with this tip. And I just kind of take the front. I'm just going to go over it and define it a teeny bit more because it gets a little lost with that. So that's pretty much it for my eyebrows. For lashes, I've been using this, which I love a lot. This is what it looks like. It's a MAC mascara. 
Mostly just get in there on my top lashes and then barely touch my bottom. Okay, once I'm done with that, I go in with my eyelid primer. Just use my finger. Um, oh, I didn't even tell you what this was. This was MAC. It's called Painterly. I dig all the way up my eyebrow. I just think it makes such a difference. It like lifts your eye. I'm gonna go in just some bronzer to kind of bronze up my face a little bit. Um, I really love this Marc Jacobs one. I also love this Sigma Sculpt one, which is also like a highlighting and um, bronzer palette. I just take a fluffy brush and I kind of just go over the whole thing. Focus here, but I take it really all in the outer corners of my face. I have learned that I am even more of a homebody than I thought I was. I love being home and the consistency of like waking up in the same place, doing the same kind of thing in the same four walls is really nice for me. And I also love cooking, which is a new thing. I've never cooked in my life and I really enjoy making food and baking. It's very weird, but I've never had time for it. And all of a sudden, literal chef. And I just take any sort of like fluffy brush for my eyeshadow and then just take the bronzer I used and the blush I used and I just kind of take it over my eyelids. This is just for when I'm trying to keep it really natural and just kind of easy. And then I love taking from this palette, Shine On, this one here, and going in like the inner corner, kind of like right here, and just giving like a little brightening. Down under and then take it on the rim of my eyebrow. And I also take this and just go right on my nose, right on the bridge. So after I do my eyes, I go onto my lips, which is kind of like the last step. And I take this Game of Thrones. I, I think this was like a one time, I believe it's Cap on D special she must have done with them. But I'm literally just like praying to God that this still exists because I li like, look how much I've used of it. I have nothing left. I just take it a little bit over my lip line and just kind of rub it everywhere. So after I use that, I take this Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude lip liner and i'm telling you right now this will be your lifeline it's just such a good like nude and it's not at all over the top you can't really even tell that it's not your actual just like lip color i think my must have beauty item for me i just love this so much it's always 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 in my purse <laughs> but i like it to stay more red in the center honestly and a little bit more nude on the outside last step is I take this Bare Minerals Dew Mist, which makes my face very dewy and makes it stay on all day and feel like fresh and glowy for the rest of the day. And that is literally pretty much all I do. And this stays on for many of hours. It really just like lasts all day. The only thing I like carry with me when I like go out, if I'm like leaving the house and I want my makeup to stay fresh, I literally take the Charlotte Tilbury powder like a little brush, and I take my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. My advice to people, I guess, would be just to find something that makes you feel calm and at ease and don't feel the pressures of what everybody's saying online. And I know we're all seeing like everyone be like, look at me, look at me, look at me. And everyone's doing so much on Instagram and so much online because we're all just like trying to find our place again and you know adjust to the new normal we're all just adjusting at different rates and it's so normal and totally fine sending all my love as always thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging and stay safe and stay well and stay happy thank you for watching refinery 29 to watch more videos click here and to subscribe click here bye guys